Hi, this is Stacy and Bill. Today we're going to be making some egg bites with our dash makers. I'm going to be working with the dash deluxe or the dash mini. And I'm going to be working with the family size. There's, there's quite a bit of difference between these two. I thought you were just getting small and big, but you're actually getting very different products here. So I thought it'd be kind of cool to feature and show the differences between the two. The mini this is something Stacy likes. Has little mini cups. <laughs> They're little mini cups. Now these are to me just a little too small and more of like a one bite where to go. Right. So you get four <laughs> of these and you get one of these. So if you want to make an egg McMuffin sandwich, something like that. Now this intrigues me. I want this, but I want this with this. Correct. And it doesn't come with one. It doesn't. So Bill's. No. So mine are larger. There's nine of them in, in this kit for the family size, but there is no sandwich maker one, which is the larger one that I kind of like. And the difference in the sizes of hers and mine are quite different. I thought it would be four of whatever size they give you right. and nine of whatever size they give you. And it's just the compactness or the larger, you know, the unit is larger or the unit is smaller. No, it's a totally different animal. You've got very different sizes of the of the egg holder and you also got that sandwich insert on the mini one which Bill that, loves that one and I do like this <laughs> but I wanted in this I wanted like four of these for this or three of these whatever would fit on there you know what I mean but uh, but for me if you talk about egg bites and doing keto and wanting to have the, some things pre-made and, and whatnot I want this size because that size is not big enough for me to me and I opinion. think this size would be fine for like Julia and I, yeah. just for a quick bite. So just a matter of preference. Um, Bill definitely prefers the bigger ones. I don't mind the smaller ones. He loves the one to make an egg sandwich. Yes, I, that's the best insert of all these inserts <laughs> to me. Because I, I would use that, I, you know. I'm he like, would use this every day. It's already been cleaned out a few times because I have been playing with it. We decided on the mini as well so that we could take it camping with us. We do a lot of travel um, van camping. So this doesn't take very many amps. I think it's 400 Four, amps. 400 watts. Watts, excuse this me. This takes 400 watts, which will off any of our battery packs, no problem. This one's over 1,000. But uh, it's not really something I would consider for the road so much. No. But, uh, but this would work. And it would work because you like the smaller cups. Yes. And I like this cup. So if we were making our breakfast, you could make four minis and I can make one of these and we'd be okay with that. Nice compromise. Yeah, it's a good compromise. So let's check these things out. We're going to put some different ingredients and some different things into some egg bites to give them some variety and taste and flavors and whatnot. And uh, we're going to show you how they both cook. Um, I've used both of them already. Uh, I like both. They, they work well. You got to put a little water in the tray and then yep. put your things in and close it and it's saying, I think, like 8 to 10 minutes. I'm thinking more like 12 because at 8 minutes, they weren't ready for me. Yeah. So we're here with the family size and the mini size. And we've got some different toppings. We have some mild cheddar cheese. We yeah. have some bacon bits. We red have some pepper. red pepper. And orange pepper. And orange pepper. A lot of flavor in those things. And, of course, eggs. Yes. Some organic eggs here. We have six eggs here mixed with salt and pepper. It's just over a cup of eggs. You need to fill it about three quarters full uh, for the, each of the containers. And I was filling mine right up to the rim and I think that was part of the reason I was having to cook a little longer than their recommended eight to 10 minutes. Yep. Each of these you're gonna use about a half cup of the thing for water. Yep, you're, you're part of what you're doing when you're cooking this is you're steaming. So, like in the large one, you get nine of these cups. Uh, obviously, I'm only making four today. But you put a little of this water in, maybe about three quarters of this little cup we filled with some water. And that's going to help build the steam when you close this to cook. It'll help it cook better. Yes. So now we're going to add our eggs. And Stacy was reading the directions, and they were saying, like, fill three quarters of the way. So my... Silly butt did not read the directions, <laughs> and I filled it right up to the rim. And I think that's why it took longer to cook mine. Yeah. But they still were good. All right, Bill? Okay. Oh, I guess I get to do that. <laughs> good thing I'm left-handed. All right, so I'm going to put my little egg. Oh, I see. I already did it. I already want it. It's like going for the gusto. 
Yeah, we just figured we'd make four and four and kind of show and compare the two. They both get hot. Now this is 1200 watts. This is 400 watts. If that matters to anybody who's camping or you know has restrictions or whatnot. Um, when we're camping, we have uh, large battery packs that can do up to 2,000 watts. So, all right. So now what did you put in yours? I put just cheese. I don't like anything else in my eggs. I just like eggs and cheese. And since I like the small ones, that's what I'll use. Okay. I'm going to put a little cheese. Because I do like cheese. Yes. And then, obviously, some bacon. And I like orange pepper. So you didn't do any red pepper, huh? No. Did you just cut that for me? I cut that for you, yes. So what I'll do is I'll do two with green pepper, or the orange pepper, and two with red pepper. How about that? I got bacon for one of them. Uh, that's not going to do. Bacon needs to go on all of them, silly. <laughs> you don't, you don't, oh yeah. See now, mine are already overflowing. This is, this is what I did last time, too. Just want more. Why don't you try it the next time around, maybe fill it with the ingredients first and then the egg around there you go. it. That, Maybe might that would help. be a smart idea. So once we've got them all made up, we're gonna obviously add our water and then close the unit. Now I've got something in the way, so. Now, for me, probably more like 10 to 12 minutes because I've again filled them too much. And new larger. And Stacy's eight to 10 minutes with your little steam water in there. I'm two minutes into mine already. Oh, when these are done cooking, we'll come back and we'll show you what they look like. And of course, I think they're gonna taste amazing. Now in the eggs, when Stacy was mixing the eggs up, she actually added salt and pepper. I yes. think we've got a little video of her mixing things up. And uh, so they're, they're basically, they're seasoned. They've got all kinds of great little extras in them. I think that can give you some variety if you're just tired of scrambled eggs in the morning. <laughs> And uh, I really just, I really kind of dig the little, the little bite trays. <laughs> so I'm just, I'm having fun with this. It's like the adult Easy Bake Oven for me. Absolutely. Now in the instructions, it gives you a little bit of information about the unit itself. And then it gives you a recipe guide. Oh, they're giving you some suggestions too. Yeah. So they've got some neat things in here. Veggie egg white bites, cheesy egg patty. And that's on the mini. So you would use the bigger, um, that sandwich one. There's the breakfast sandwich one that Bill really likes. This thing is amazing. Because <laughs> to me, this is really what an egg bite is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, these work better for me. They're just larger and, you know, it's more than just a <laughs> one bite. <laughs> so we'll be back in a few minutes and we'll show you what comes out and what we think of it. So guys, through the magic of YouTube, we are back. Um, Stacy's has cooked for 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Mine has cooked for 12 because they're a little larger and they're a little fuller, which I do constantly. Um, but they smell amazing, first of all. And both of these we got from Amazon, obviously, and they'll be linked in the description as well because you know all know me and how much I love Amazon. <laughs> but uh, we did buy them for two purposes, one for travel and one for home as well as to show everybody the differences between the two, and there were quite a few differences. Mm -hmm. Here's the final product. Oh my gosh, they nice. smell so good. Now, now all that water pretty much evaporated off in Stacy's. Mine still has the little water. Oh, you're brave. It's silicone. Oh, that's what she said. <laughs> I'm gonna, actually I don't, I don't, see now mine is real sticky. Otherwise you, <laughs> because I filled it too much. Give me a fork. <clears throat> now what I'm going to do is flip this over because that doesn't look very good on the upside down. There we go. There we go. Come on out, Iggy. So funny. Come play with us. Oh, you can put them all out? Just two. Now it looks like it cooked pretty well. Yeah. I mean, that, that's definitely even got a brown top to it. So I'm not sure if you could see this very well, but Stacy's even cooked to the Stacy test of having some browning to it, so she's very happy. Yes. And now you haven't tried eating one of these yet, correct? I have not. I have, because I've played with both of them. And these are too small for me. Personal <laughs> choice. Now this is the egg bite that I made in the larger dash, the family size. And that's a good bite for me. That's more than one bite. Now, these are like poppers. <laughs> this is like, make a couple of these and that's breakfast. Oh, 
Super excited to try these. This is going to be a nice way to meal prep. They freeze well. Um, yeah, a lot of people will make up like in the family. That's why I got the family one. You can make nine and, you know, maybe two, three days worth of little meal bites are ready to go in the morning. Maybe fast and easy. I'm going to try it with Julia and see if she'll eat them. She'll eat scrambled eggs. Yeah. She probably only want the egg part, but uh, I want the cheese, the bacon, the variety of the peppers in there, all kinds of fun things like that. It gives you a nice variety instead of always having just scrambled eggs. A variety. <laughs> a variety. Oh, goodness gracious. Can we eat the eggs, please? We can eat the eggs. Let's eat the eggs while well, they're still warm. It's got a nice crusty top to it. Definitely has that crust on top, which I'm excited about for Stacy. I am very picky with my eggs. I don't order eggs out. I only order eggs that either I cook or my husband cooks. I like them brown and you well will like done. The, you will like this. So I was a little nervous because everybody talks about them being very creamy Would you eat and your very egg? moist and eat I wasn't, your wasn't excited. But it's not creamy. Now that I see it. It's not creamy. I wouldn't say it's moist, but it's not dry. It didn't like mm. overly cook them. But it does have that nice crust to the top and through the body is firm. Mm -hmm. You know, it's. It, I think that this is cooked good. In the larger family dash, because mine were a little fuller, I cooked mine 12. Right. And Stacy did 10 in hers and hers were like three quarters full, correct? Yes. Okay. So, you know, you could play with that a little bit. And the nice part is if it isn't quite cooked, just put it in for another minute or so. It's real easy. And the little silicone cups are top dishwasher safe, so super easy to... You know, and they they rinse right out too. Yeah. Yeah. Stacy cleaned two out real quick, and and then of course they're not something you're gonna burn yourself when you take them out because they're silicone. Yep. <laughs> you we can got... tell I do the bacon in the house, and he does the cooking. Yeah, that's true. No, but these have turned out really well. They taste good, and of course we only made the four in the family, but I could have made nine and put some away for tomorrow type of thing. Right. And these four I'll probably eat through the day today. Mm -hmm. Just. Zap them for 20 seconds in the microwave or something and eat them. Yeah, very nice. Uh, similar to the egg bites that they sell at the grocery store. They come mm -hmm. frozen anyway. Those are expensive, though. They're very expensive. Yeah. I'd just rather take my eggs, because we usually use the organics, and uh, just a little bit of peppers. and got, You know what might be even good in here is just a, a small bit of chopped onion. Just give it a different... See, we're totally different egg people. For me, I love just either regular eggs or eggs with uh, the mild cheddar, which is what I've done here. Yep. And I have to say, for all of my friends that uh, watch and were curious on how the eggs were going to come out and how I was going to like them, I definitely give it a thumbs up. They are very, they're very well cooked. They're not creamy for me. <laughs> it was described as, you know, creamy and moist and all that. And I'm like, eh, it doesn't sound cooked. But no, <laughs> no, these turned out really well. Uh, I had actually added that two minutes because mine were too full and kind of bigger. But uh, yeah, I, I'm very happy with them. Yeah. And that little bit of water you put in, that steam that's generated, helps cook those even better because you've yeah. got a top and a bottom plate. Um, pretty darn happy with the thing. I've even seen people who open it and take all the inserts out. And almost use it like a little mini skillet. You yes. could do a scrambled egg in there and just toss it with a fork or a spatula yep. or something. I wouldn't use a fork because it's nonstick and I don't want to scratch it. But yeah. a lot of people do. I see you know, all the time on TV, I see people cooking in a pan with a fork. I'm like, what the heck? You don't have a spatula. You don't have a wooden spoon, something, right? <laughs> exactly. But Some anyway. of the other things they have here is the lemon cheese uh, cheesecake bites. Um yeah, I mean, I, I'm sure there's more you can do beyond just an egg bite, but uh, I wanted to do this for our little keto stuff. Yeah. Because we're always looking for a different way to make breakfast. That'd I mean, be something Bill would have the Fiesta egg bites. Yes, that sounds good. I would try it. <laughs> All right. But uh, definitely some great uh, suggestions sandwich. in here. Sandwich. <laughs> you know what we could do? So I love Dash. They, they make some really fun, cool little things. The little chaffle maker. Everybody knows about the chaffles, right? The little yes. waffle maker chaffle. And well, anyway, bowl. you could probably do maybe birch benders or just an egg cheese chaffle, right, as mm -hmm. a sandwich. Then use the sandwich insert piece to do like maybe a piece of ham. His mind is spinning. And, oh, yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. 
but but make your own sandwich but minus the bread and minus yeah. the English muffin and the bagel and the other things that if you're trying to do your keto and right. and whatnot. But you can make either a birchmender truffle or an egg and cheese truffle and then put your lunch meat like a like a ham with yeah. some egg and some salt and some pepper and some onion and some pepper and some bacon and some more bacon and make that little sandwich meat piece insert, put it on the truffles, and then you got a true sandwich. You're not feeling like you've deprived yourself yeah. of, oh, my keto, and all I have is this plain egg on a plate. No, you can have fun with it. And that's what it's all about. Let's have fun. And easy Life is short. to pick up and eat, too. Yep. Life's short. Have fun. And eat the egg. And eat the egg. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with us, guys. And I hope that uh, this helped bring you into what Dash offers on these egg makers. Mm -hmm. And there were, I'll be honest, there were differences that I wasn't even aware of. Like right. the size differences and then the sandwich and shirt, which I want with the big one, but the big one doesn't have it. And um, <clears throat> it's possible that Dash sells it. I'll have to look out there and poke around a little bit but I, I think it's a great combination of the of the two yeah. and I, I think for travel the little one it'd be 400 watts and having the insert that's bigger that I would use and the littler mm -hmm. ones for you is a is a great combination for traveling absolutely and then the big one for home if you want to do meal prep which we'll do which we'll do all right guys thanks again for hanging out with us and we will see you in the next one bye bye <laughs>